Uh, my name is Marcus Searle and I am from Kansas City and I've uh, been out here for uh, about a year, a little over a year for residency here at Blue Ridge. Uh, we had several options that uh, we could uh, pursue further and uh, after talking to Dr. Cox on the phone and just it seemed like this would be a great fit for what we were looking forward to. We'd never been out to North Carolina and heard wonderful things about the area. Um, and so my wife and I decided that that would be the next step and it, sound, it felt like a good step and so far has been a great step and uh, surprisingly um, we've really loved the area more so than we thought we did um, or thought we would I should say. Um, and so it's been a good experience um, in terms of for residency and my family life and as well. We have two kids, a uh, nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and they kind of got plugged into sports. Uh, they play soccer, football, or excuse me, soccer, baseball. Um, and uh, they just finished up at a local elementary school, and they, actually they're winding up their summer now, but they've met a lot of friends. We got plugged into a local church, and so that's been a good experience as well. Um, and they're really enjoying the area too. Uh, so coming from an urban uh, area, uh, fairly urban part of Kansas City, um, it's been um, much, a little bit of culture difference, a lot slower pace in life. It's got the southern feel to it. Things might take a little bit longer um, to get done. Everyone seems to welcome you wherever you go. They look you in the eye and they'll say, hey, how you doing? Um, and that, that's kind of a, a nice um, aspect about this kind of community. They, they seem to be close-knit, um, not afraid to you know, introduce themselves if they're a stranger, they don't know your face. Um, so that's been also pleasant, you know, that we moved to an area that was so welcoming and you can kind of fit right in, not like you're an outcast, so to speak, so. Yeah, and that was the one of the things I was concerned about. Um, I was looking into particularly staying in Kansas City for residency in an urban area because of the varied type of pathology you'd see. I, I've been surprised at the varied different of pathology that we have. Um, there's a lot of it in this area and it's just as much as if we we're in an urban area, surprisingly to say. So there, in terms of a training aspect, I think it's been a good thing because we're not just seeing you know hypertension and diabetes control and that kind of thing. Uh, we're seeing um, weird type of pathological illnesses that might need further workup. We're seeing lots of cancers. Um, lots of strange pathologies you hear about in medical school but might not always see in the clinic uh, um, in your practice. Um, so I think it's been a great experience because it helps you learn how to manage those things when you come across that later on in your training. Um, my main goal is to be a, a great physician um, and well-rounded and so a lot of times smaller programs you're not sure, especially if they're newer, you're not sure of how much educational experience you're going to get and are you just going to see the basic kind of things, the bread and butter of illness um, versus that varied pathology I was talking about earlier. Um, I, would, I would say at this point it's been a great learning experience. Um, anywhere you go it's what you make of it and I think the big thing here is there's a lot of opportunity to make good things of your educational experience. Um, the the GME committee they seem to take a lot of the residents uh, input and try to incorporate that into you know rules and regulations um, and so I think you're heard here when there are problems and, and they react to it. The program directors do a great job of actually in, in, taking your feedback and incorporating that into a positive change that might make the program better. Uh, it will definitely make patient care better. Now for our, our attendings here um, they do a great job of bringing up things that you might not think about so uh, we do see a lot of um, like I alluded to earlier, the high blood pressures and managing diabetes and cholesterol, um, but they're always having you think a little forward. So what's the other things we should test? What other lab work should we get? How soon should we see those patients if it's out of control and how to manage medications appropriately? Um, so from that, um, for that question, I would say that our attendings are varied in their knowledge, but all of them are, um, definitely get you to think outside of the box a little bit better. Um, a lot of them have many years of experience in doing this, um, so I think they're adequately uh, qualified to train us, and I think they do a great job of making us become better physicians in terms of more knowledge and, um, 
in regards to the standard of care for our patients. Yeah, actually I'm pleasantly surprised by the, the new incoming class. Uh, they all have good personalities. They uh, No one's too serious. I think um, in, in our field, in being a physician and becoming, you know, um, we're all doctors now, you have to have a, a, a good sense of humor at the appropriate times and you can't always be so serious all the time. And I think we have a good mix of people that we like to be around each other. We um, do things outside of work together. Um, uh, we have all different varied backgrounds. It's actually culturally as well diversified. Um, and I appreciate that because I learn things from them all the time. Um, and we all come from different educational backgrounds as well. So I've been pleased with this program because we are diversified. There's different cultures um, that are represented in our uh, group of residents from the first year through the third year. I think the pathology, the experience that you get with inpatient medicine combined with your clinic, me, clinical medicine, the different preceptors or attendings that you work with in different locations around the area, it's all been top notch. Um, it's uh, most of the attendings I've worked with so far have lots of experience in what they do and they're willing to teach and if you want to learn and so um, also the uh, the point of view that we are a younger program and I do think they value what the residents think here um, to make this a great program and a program that's here for you know generations to come uh, training good doctors in this area and hopefully those doctors will stay you know in the Blue Ridge area um, and I think they they're really trying and putting forth a great effort making this a great program.